we're at the point in the entertainment industry where they have been completely and totally infected by the woke mind virus, where things that would have been put out a decade ago without question, comedy movies that would have been made, series that would have been put out, those things are no longer on the table. Those things could not be made today. Even something as benign as The Office couldn't get made today, according to those in woke Hollywood. So when an actor who's known for something that when it came out was hilarious, but nowadays would have been considered very offensive, when they come out and stand by their work and say, no, I'm not going to apologize. I think this was funny then, and I still think it's funny now. That has to be commended. And that's exactly what Ben Stiller did the other day. When asked about the movie Tropic Thunder, that's a movie which has a couple of things that nowadays would be offensive or problematic, including Robert Downey Jr. in blackface pretending to be a black man. Or, of course, Ben Stiller going full retard as Simple Jack. Ironically, it was the depiction of a retarded person that got more backlash, what, 15 years ago, whenever this movie was released than Robert Downey Jr.'s uh, get-up did. However, Ben Stiller has come out and said, yeah, I'm not apologizing for this. I think it's funny. Ben Stiller isn't sorry for making Tropic Thunder. I make no apologies. Now, that in and of itself, the statement that he made on Twitter about that, is a little funny considering five years ago he did clarify that he apologized to some people not for the movie itself but if you they did get offended by it he apologized but now he says no i'm not sorry at all hollywood star ben stiller isn't sorry he made the 2008 hollywood satire tropic thunder even in light of the character played by robert downey jr a method actor who undergoes skin darkening and other drastic physical alterations to play a black soldier in the movie within a movie Ben Stiller tweeted his resolve this week in response to a fan's claim that he's been apologizing for the movie. And it's a good point that they even make in the first paragraph. If you remember the movie, I kind of want to watch it again now, but if you remember Tropic Thunder, it's really a parody of the entertainment industry. It's a parody on movie making. It's a parody on how dumb actors are and what some actors will do for a role, even if it's actually like kind of fucked up, right? That's the entire point of the movie. That's what he's making fun of. And he's using some pretty drastic examples to do so. It all came with this Twitter exchange from uh, Benny S over here. Let's take a look at this. At Ben Stiller, please stop apologizing for doing this movie. It was and still is funny as fuck, even funnier now than with cancel culture the way it is. It's a movie. Y'all can just get over it. I was dying laughing when I saw it back in the day and so was everyone else. And I don't know how often Ben Stiller tweets or if he's on Twitter a lot. I do know that Ben Stiller, just like nearly everyone else in Hollywood, is a leftist. You know what I mean? Uh, But he's not sitting there and saying, I'm sorry for making this movie because it offended people. It's a comedy movie. It meant to make people laugh. And this is his statement. I make no apologies for Tropic Thunder. Don't know who told you that. It's always been a controversial movie since we opened. Proud of it and the work everyone did on it. And I think that that kind of opinion right there is something that is sorely missing from a lot of people in Hollywood. The Hangover. You couldn't make a movie like The Hangover today because they use they use a gay slur in that movie. Oh, so offensive. Yeah, okay. I'm sure everybody is really offended by that word. Oh my gosh. And Robert Downey Jr. has talked about this as well. He went on Joe Rogan and he talked about it. He was, you know, a little worried they might get some blowback, but everybody, including all of his black friends, said, dude, movie is funny as hell, man. It's hilarious. And that's what the vast majority of people think. Are there going to be people that with everything that comes out, take like one little tiny thing and say, this, this thing is the end of the world. This thing is so offensive. That's not woke enough. You're not respecting these people. Yeah, of course, there's always going to be something like that. If you let those people control it, if you let those people have their way, eventually you're sitting here in 2023 Hollywood where nobody can make anything actually funny anymore, where no one can do any Anything edgy or offensive because it's not okay. And that's just frankly ridiculous. Now, the article does go and talk about, uh, you know, how five years ago, Ben Stiller kind of clarified some of these things. Actually, Tropic Thunder was boycotted 10 years ago when it came out, and I apologize. It was meant to make fun of actors trying to do anything to win awards, basically saying, I wasn't actually trying to make fun of retarded people. I was trying to make fun of retarded actors. It's basically what Ben Stiller said. I stand by my apology and the movie, the great people and the work of the Special Olympics. And I do remember, I remember when this happened, it was because Sean White, so, you know, snowboarder Sean White, Olympian Sean White, 
He dressed up as Simple Jack for Halloween or something, and people got all upset because the work that they do with the Special Olympics and blah, blah, all that. So that's why he's kind of coming out defending Sean dressing up as it, saying, yeah, I apologize if I offend anybody. That wasn't the intent of it, though. We thought it was funny. I stand by the movie. I stand by the outfit, and I stand by the Special Olympics. Robert Downey Jr. received an Oscar nomination for his Tropic Thunder performance with little to no controversy. Speaking to Joe Rogan in 2020, he recalled 90% of my black friends were like, dude, that was great. Uh, so it's not like Ben Stiller is super based or anything, but this is all it takes is standing by what you did and realizing that being funny is sometimes offensive and that's okay. Let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.